This is called the twisted stargazer. We're going to start from a regular stargazer and then transition to the twisted version. But you don't have to already know your regular version already. Don't worry. Only prerequisite for this move is you should be comfortable with your pole climbs, okay? At least be comfortable going two, three climbs up. You don't have to be high for this one. You can do it on static pole, spin pole, whichever you feel most comfortable with. I'm going to stick with the pole on static just to be able to break it down and show you where your hands are going for this one. This is a great move for a photo shoot. Okay, so we're going to start with a couple of climbs up. Depending on your preferred entrance to your stargazer, um, which I'm going to kind of go over, some people like to drop down into their stargazer and kind of slide into it. Some people like to lift the leg up into their stargazer, okay? So if you're doing the lifting the leg up version, you don't need to climb up very high, maybe one, two climbs. If you are doing the slide down into it, you're going to want to add an additional climb so you don't end up with your other foot on the floor, okay? So let's start with the lift the leg up version. So I'm just going to take it two climbs up. And from here, I'm going to hook my left knee, which means I'm going to lift my left knee up higher, place the pit of my left knee against the pole, bend it, same hand as leg is gonna grab it, slide my other hand down, and then slide my leg down, okay? And as I slide my bottom leg down, I'm leaning back. You don't have to let go with this hand right away, but you do need to lean back so that it puts pressure into the pole, okay? So my contact points end up being this knee, the back of this thigh here, and then also the shin of my bottom leg, okay? So it's really pushing into the pole to come out, take that foot off, and bring it down. So really important, as I said at the beginning, is you need to be comfortable with your climbs because that leg that stays pointing down in both versions of the stargazer, the regular one we're working on now, and the twisted we're going to take it to, we're really pushing with that shin into the pole, okay? How far down that leg slides, how straight that leg is, that's going to depend on your personal preference, your comfort, your flexibility level. So it's going to look a little bit different on everybody, right? Okay, so that was if I lift the leg up. If I want to slide the leg down, I'm going to start with my knees at about the same height, taking a couple climbs up. I'm going to start sliding the leg down that I want down, leaning back already, and then grab that foot and continue to slide, okay? So you're going to find which version works best for you. Generally, I find I like the lift the leg up version, but it does take a certain comfort level with being able to push with that remaining leg. Okay, so now to take it to the twisted version. The regular version of the stargazer, my opposite hand is grabbing this leg. To get twisted with it, what do you think? We're gonna do a little switcheroo, okay? So with the switcheroo, there's an option to take it more bendy okay? But you do not have to be bendy to make it happen, okay? What this shape will look like, just like so many pole shapes, they're going to look different on different bodies, okay? So just remember, if your twisted stargazer looks different than my twisted stargazer, it's not wrong. It's a variation. We have different body types, leg sizes, arm length, flexibility, comfort level, all those things, okay? So embrace the you, whatever that is. Okay, so we're going to start with our regular stargazer, if your regular stargazer feels solid, then we're going to take it to the twisted, okay? Because it doesn't mean like trusting to take our hands away from the pole mark. So I'm going to take it up a couple of climbs, getting into my stargazer here. Now, from here, I'm going to switch my hands. I have my thumb facing down, okay? So I'm going to switch so I have same hand as leg. My now free hand is going to reach behind my back and grab the pole. And like I said, you can make it bendy, not bendy, whatever that is. When you're ready to come out, switch the hand, re-grab the pole, and then back to your pole sit or wherever it is that you're going. I do find if I don't do that hand switch and try and just come out of it, there's a little elevation drop. I mean, depending on how comfort you, comfortable you are with that, but my personal preference is to go back to the original hand to get out of it, okay? So let's look at it from the other side so you can see what that back hand is doing that was kind of hidden behind my back, okay? So taking it up into that stargazer. Stargazer feels solid. Hand is going to switch on the leg. Exhale as you reach back, thumb down to grab the pole and you can arch into it as much as you want. Ready to come out. Switch the hand, re-grip, and out. And that 
oh, my friends, is your twisted stargazer. Okay. Try it out. Like I said, make sure you're comfortable with the regular stargazer before you start getting all fancy with your hands and laying back into it. So it feels comfortable with the regular one. Take it to the twisted version. Like I said, you don't have to be bendy. How far down that back hand goes down the pole is going to vary depending on length of your arms, length of your torso, bendiness of your back, openness of your hip flexors. So there's going to be all kinds of variations. Even if that hand is just grabbing your butt behind your back, it's still a twisted stargazer. Okay, so play around, have some funsies with this one. Maybe throw it into your next pole photo shoot. Mm -hmm.